In this video, Tiny85 microcontroller is interfaced with real-time clock DS3231, displaying minutes and hours on Max7219 dot matrix display. A circuit diagram of the implemented system is shown here. The RTC DS3231 module is connected with the Tiny85 module using I2C interface and the max7219.metrics module is connected with the Tiny85 using SPI interface. And now for a quick demonstration, we see on the max7219 display the time in minutes and hours. And then after some delay, the day, the month and the year are displayed on the module. A quick look at the C++ sketch used in this project. We need to include the, the wire library so we can have access to the I2C port of the Tiny85 uh, microcontroller. And we need to include the LED control library so that we can manipulate the uh, LEDs on the max7219.metrics uh, module. And we need to include the library here so that we can have access to the DS3231 real-time clock module. Next we declare this object display so that we can manipulate the uh, LEDs on the MAX7219 module and we declare this uh, object clock so that we can have access to the hours and minutes from the DS3231 module. Next we declare two-dimensional array digits which contains all the binary patterns required to sketch the patterns or the digits from 0 to 9. Within the set of function, we initialize the I2C interface and then we initialize the four digits of the MAX7219 module. Within the loop function, we get the minute, hour, day, month, and year values from the DS3231 module. Next, we call function display digit 0 to display the most significant digit of the hour at address 0 of the module. And then we call display digit 1 to display the least significant digit of the hour at address 1. And we call function display digit 2 to display the most significant digit of the minutes at address 2 and we call function display digit 3 to display the uh, least significant digit of the minute at address 3. When function display digit 0 is called, a nested for loop is used and set LED function is used to display the most significant digit of the hour at address 0 of the MAX7219 module. And the same applies for digit 1, digit 2, and digit 3. In addition to displaying the hours and minutes on the module, we also display a blinking colon that will blink every one second. And function set column is used to sketch the colon on the display. While the program is running displaying the time on the module, Every 60 seconds, this if statement becomes true, which is used to display the date on the module. So first we clear the display, and then we display the day value, and then display the month value, and then there's a delay of 5 seconds, and then display the year. In conclusion, Tiny85 microcontroller is suitable for embedded applications due to its small profile and low power capabilities. Its main disadvantage is limited number of IO pins. Thank you for watching.